Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Chef K here. So um, uh, I talked about we were gonna start some um, yeast bread. So we're gonna work on one today and I'll see if we get this one going enough time. We'll uh, start another one, maybe the bagels. Um, so I was gonna do a um, Italian, like a, a, a Subway type of uh, bread, like for a hero roll. So I'm gonna start off with that. And then um, actually while that one is getting um, set up and it's um, rising, cause you gotta let it rest for about like an hour. So of course we probably won't be able to finish the whole thing, but I just thought maybe um, I'd go over uh, making the meatballs also. Cause I was gonna do that for the um, hero. I was gonna make meatball hero. Um, so we'll uh, work on the um, meatballs also while the bread's um, sitting in our bowl and waiting for, for it to rise. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start the bread first. So always with bread, yeast bread, you always start out with warm water. So I have a cup of warm water. I'm gonna put it in my mixer. Uh, most of the time you have, you need um, sugar also. So we're gonna get a tablespoon of sugar is gonna go in there. Make sure it's a level. I like to actually dissolve the sugar in there a little bit before I add my yeast. I'm just gonna let that go and mix in. And then you're gonna need a tablespoon of yeast also. So I have the yeast here, all right, this quick rise instant yeast. And that is also gonna be a tablespoon of that. So I'm gonna take a tablespoon. Now the thing with yeast is you don't wanna just pour the whole thing in. And I know when I work with the students, I tell them don't just dump it in. You wanna make sure you sprinkle it in. So we have the uh, water and sugar here mixing. Now I'm just gonna take, bring this up, and I'm just gonna sprinkle this on the top. And what I wanna do is let that spread out throughout the whole top of it so it dissolves evenly. If I just dump it, it's just gonna be a big clump of yeast in the middle of the water, and it's really not gonna dissolve like I want. So if you look here, if you come over here and see, you can actually see how I kind of dissolved it on top. Well, I let it uh, sprinkled it on top. So you can see it's a nice little layer just on top. I didn't just dump it. And you can actually see on the edges. See how it's starting to already foam? That's how you want your yeast to go. You want it to, to foam. All The whole thing should be foamy before we um, add anything else to it. All right. So we have our warm water. We have our yeast. And we have our sugar so the next few things are just going to be our uh, salt some olive oil and the um, all-purpose flour so what I'll do is I'll start measuring the flour now so the flour is it says two and a half cups to two th three and quarters so I'm gonna do let's do at least two and a half we'll start out with that so I'm gonna measure that actually I don't know if I need this big bowl I might use this for when we have it sitting. So I'm gonna take a different bowl. I think we can get away with, actually this for two and a half cups. I can get away with this. So I'm gonna go two and a half cups in this. So, a cup. I'm gonna level that off. One cup, two cup, and since it says two, two and a half to two and three quarter, I'm just gonna fill another cup up just a little bit about halfway. So actually that's uh, actually a little bit more. So that's almost two and three quarter there. And uh, we might not use all that. I'm not really sure, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how the dough looks. So we have all our flour. So the next thing is, we're gonna let that sit a little bit more. You can see it's still dissolving. And we will get our salt ready. So the salt, we need one and a half teaspoons of salt. So I'm gonna measure that and I'm just gonna put it in um, half a cup here, just have it ready to go. <clears throat> Just 
one teaspoon. And our half. So we have that all ready to go. Have our one and a half teaspoons of salt ready. And then the only other thing we need to actually add to that is going to be olive oil. <clears throat> Let's see. I could maybe start measuring that also and putting that in something else. So it's less to do once we get ready. So I'm just going to add that to this. So the olive oil, it says you need... Wow, four tablespoons of olive oil. That's quite a lot. I'm not even sure if it'll fit in this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, a quarter cup. All right, so wait for that just a little longer. And then as you see, if you look here on top of this, so I got this going, and then I also have some stuff ready for meatballs. If you look here, I have things out here ready for meatballs. I have about a pound of uh, chopped meat. I have an egg. I have some uh, diced onions already. I have my breadcrumbs ready with some Italian seasoning, black pepper, milk. Um, some I'm going to cheat and use this uh, already prepared chopped garlic. And uh, we can actually start working on that also. So um, with uh, your meatballs, you can take your um, breadcrumb seasoning and you can actually add your liquid and let that soak right in. Your milk and I actually did a little beef stock in there also. So we're going to just use about a quarter cup of milk because the recipe is for two pounds. I'm only doing a pound, just so a quarter cup. That's our quarter can I cup. Dump it? Yeah, you can dump it in there. And I have um, beef base also. So I'm going to add this beef base to that. It's just going to add a bit more of a beef flavor to it. We're going to add that in there. And um, Sarah, you want, you can actually mix all that together and kind of let that all get soaked up. It's hard with one hand. It's hard with uh, not another hand in there. Hmm. Is that good enough? Yeah, it's good enough. Just get some of the stuff that's dry in the edge and we'll... Add that, and I'm just gonna add the pepper right to that too. Get our pepper mixture in there. There's supposed to be some pepper in there. And as you notice, I'm not measuring some of this stuff. I'm just adding it. Just to be some salt. Just remember the um, chick, the beef base gave a little bit of salt flavor too. And have that in there. Yeah, and then we're just going to add that in there with their egg, and um, we'll start mixing that up. Uh, I also got to cook the onions, so I'm going to put them in a pan, some olive oil, and we're going to start cooking them up. And we'll cook them up. And, um... We're gonna come back over here to the, uh, you can see how most of that dissolved. You can see it's like foamy on top, the yeast. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna drop this down and just kind of mix it in real slow. Mix the rest of that in. that I pre-measured before. I'm gonna mix that back a little bit more. I 
then I'm going to start adding. Now, when you add the flour, you can add like about a half a cup at a time or so. You don't have to add it all at once. So I'm going to stop this. I'm going to bring it up. And I'm going to start adding my flour to this. And go like a cup in the beginning. Every time we do a video, the phone has to ring. All right, I'm gonna add another half a cup. I'm gonna scrape down a little bit on the edges here. Can you stir in my onions? close to the end of here with the flour, so we'll have to see if we need all of it or not. Still a little sticky, but we have more flour. I think I'm just gonna add the rest and we might need more flour. We'll have to see. Mix it up nice. <clears throat> so, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start mixing our meat mixture. So I'm gonna break my egg. Just about an egg per pound of meat. I'm just gonna for the four for now. We're gonna add that to the meat. And we're gonna add the breadcrumbs mixture to that also. And then we're gonna actually have to get in there with our hands and mix all this together. I also have some garlic I wanted to put in there. These onions are good. I'm gonna put a little bit of spoon of garlic in there. 
and that is ready to get mixed. And I'm gonna add a little bit more flour to this because you can see it's a little bit stringy. It's still a little bit moist. I'm not gonna be able to get a dough out of that yet. It's gonna be a... I'm gonna add just a little bit more flour to that. One more time. Split the sides one more time. And this dough is pretty close to where we want it now. Alright. So I'm going to get some gloves. So we can mix the meatballs. Getting used to wearing gloves in these times. Go out shopping, gotta wear gloves. All right. I'm gonna let that go. And then what we're going to do is just get in there with our hands and start mixing the meat mixture. So we have our breadcrumbs, our garlic, our seasoning is all in here. And our egg. Combine all this. Sometimes I mix her ready to mix her, but as you can see, <clears throat> the mixer is busy. So I can't put it in there today. You want this nice and smooth so everything's combined evenly. And there's our meat mixture ready to go. The only thing what I'm going to do is somebody doesn't want onions in theirs. So now I'm going to take some out without onions, put it over here separate, and then the onions. I have onions that we cooked for ours already. So when you cook the onions a little bit translucent, Onions in there. And then I'm just going to mix these onions back in here. And they're already nicely. And we're going to put them on a train and cook them. I do is I just scoop them out 
What I might do is backtrack just a second. I might actually do my uh, bread, get that, then I'll do the... Uh, and I'll do the uh, and so the, the dough is here. And what we're gonna do is just take this and take a little bit more flour out. We're just gonna put it on a table. I don't know if people have uh, kneaded bread before, but basically you're just taking it and you're, you're pushing, you're going over top, over and under, and you're pushing it. So this is kneading it. So we're just gonna work the gluten in a little bit. And we're just gonna get this dough. It's a nice salt dough. Gonna work it a little bit. Kneading it is basically pushing on it and pulling it back. Pushing on and pulling it back, folding it over. Then, still really sticky. Really sticky dough here. Then we're gonna let it rest a little bit in a bowl. And we'll put a little bit of olive oil in that bowl and we'll cover that up. I like to make it nice and smooth on top. Smooth. We got a bowl. We're gonna put a little olive oil on there. The bottom. On the top. And we're just gonna let that rest and put a little paper towel or cloth over top of it. <clears throat> and just let that rest and you'll see that'll rise up. So we're gonna put that over here. And then we're gonna continue with our meatballs. So the meatballs, all we're gonna do now is actually I might even use this flour to help with um so it doesn't stick to our scoop. And we're just gonna Heap the scoop. I like to heap it, make it round, and we're just going to put it on our tray. So we're going to heap it, make it as round as we can, put it on a tray. Heap it round. And so looks like Sarah got about four meatballs out of that, and I'll put the other batch in there. And I'm just gonna actually roll hers up now. So right now you can just roll them. You already have the uh, amount you want, so you're just gonna roll them. Make them nice and round. And then once you put hers all in a row, so there's the four plain. Now we're gonna work on the ones with the onion, do the same way. Heap it, scoop it, heap it, <coughs> and we'll roll it in a minute. I didn't want to make two pounds because I was like, this is going to be enough for one serving and then another, probably another meal. So two pounds, it would be like 
freezing a lot of it. And even though it's not a bad thing to freeze it, but I'd like to just, I like to work with what I have. I might actually make something else out of the rest of the chopped meat, the other pound that I have left. So let me just start rolling these up. We have these. And what I'm going to do is actually start putting them in a pan and cooking them off and browning them up. Just brown them up in a pan, a frying pan a little bit. And um, then I would put them in the oven and cook them the rest of the way. So they'll be all ready and cooked all the way through. So what I'm going to do is actually take the pan. heating up the meatballs and we're going to do with Sarah's first so she can keep track of them and then I'll keep on working on these so we have six already nice one we'll probably get another six out of here so figure about a dozen meatballs in out of a pound, what dozen, 10? 14. Oh, 14? Oh, no. 18? 16. What's our mass, Sarah? 12 16. and 4. 16. Yeah, you're right. 16. For some reason, I was getting 18. I better go back to math. All right, so. That looks like one there. And we might get, I think we're going to get one more. And that'll be. Perfect. Actually, I might add to one of these to that one. And we'll continue rolling them out. So there you go. There's our meatballs. We'll bring these over, get them ready to go. Keep that over there. And then I would like to use a, maybe a tongs or something to stir them around. We've got these little kind of tongs, spatulas. So I'm gonna just turn them around so they kind of around on all sides. They'll start making their own grease in there. I mean, you can put a little olive oil on the bottom so they don't stick, but you know, their hamburger's got 80% um, meat and 20% fat in these, so they'll make their own fat. I'm just gonna put maybe a little lower and um, they'll be ready to roll. And what I'm gonna do is get cleaned up over here a little bit. doing basically just browning all of the each side and then what I'll do is I'll put them back on a tray and we'll cook them I'm cleaning this area up So I don't 
I'm gonna make sure I get every side brown. This side doesn't want to sit. Keep them in the middle. Maybe they'll hold each other up. Like I said, we're going to cook these more in the, the uh, stove. action here. You can see a little better. You can see all the fat coming off them burgers already. Burgers. Meatballs. <laughs> it is hamburger, but... Alright. So I think what we'll do, because there's really, we got to wait for the bread to go. And um, so we might cut this from here and then we may cut back on and see how we do the bread. So we'll try to do it that way, guys, because it's going to take a little while for that bread to rise. Finish all these meatballs and um, we'll try to come back and catch this up um, in a little bit. Okay. All right, guys. Take care.